Hello guys, in today's video we are going to learn about Prim's and Chris Carl's algorithm to find minimum spotting tree. But before getting into the action, let's match our expectations. I'm studying this topic by myself and my videos depend on the wisdom of the crowd, a topic that really fascinates me. Therefore, if you find any mistake in what I say, please let me know in the comment section below. I promise to read all comments and re-upload if necessary. Also, please subscribe to my channel, I tend to upload many videos on this topic. Alrighty, so we're going to see a naive algorithm first to solve this problem, the uh, MST problem, followed by Prim's algorithm and Chris Carl's algorithm. Both algorithms offer interesting yet somewhat different approaches to solve the problem. Prim's algorithm separates a vertex from the rest of the vertices set and contracts the lightest edge that crosses the cat. Kurskal algorithm on the other end sorts the edges first and add them to the minimum spanning tree one at a time, unless the edge forms a circle. Let's jump right into it. Prim's algorithm for MST, cat. When we split the vertices into two noon empty subsets of vertices, let graph G equals VE be our graph and let set S be a non-empty set of vertices from the general vertices set of our graph. The partition S, V, except S is called a cat of G. All edges that begin in one set, either S or V S, and end in the other set, are said to be in the cat or crossing the cat. Edge contraction. For a multigraph, G equals VE, and an edge, E and E. The contraction of edge E UV creates a new multigraph denoted from the original graph without a contracted edge. The new graph consists of all edges except edge E, and vertices U and V are merged into one vertex called UV. That new vertex replaces both vertices U and V when one of them was previously associated with other edges. If there were additional edges between U and V, these become self-edges. Let's see an example. Given the graph G equals VE, we will contract edge E equals AB. The new graph is AB and C with two edges connecting them, this and this. We will contract one of the edges, E equals ABC, and the new graph is ABC. Notice the self edge is a direct result of the last contraction and merged two vertices ABC, which shared more than one edge. It is essential to understand that once we merged all vertices of the graph to one vertex, constructing a graph from all the edges contracted will restore a graph which is a spanning tree to the original graph G. This can be proved by an induction. This idea helps us to come up with a simple algorithm which can find us the minimum spanning tree. On each iteration, find the lightest non-self edge, write its details, and contract it. Repeat the process until you ended with one vertex. In that stage, construct a new graph from the edges we contracted. This greedy algorithm based its decision according to the understanding that a minimum spanning tree consists of the lattice edges. Its runtime is OE multiplied by V. On each iteration, finding the lattice edge, contract it and log it, OE, and repeat V minus one times until we merge all vertices to one. To prove the correctness of the algorithm, we can assume, in contradiction, the output of the algorithm isn't the MST, and therefore at least one of the edges of the graph could be swapped with a lighter edge, but that's impossible since we always add the lightest possible edge. We are now ready to talk about Prim's algorithm. The algorithm adds about one more element which I haven't included in the naive algorithm I just showed. The goal is to avoid scanning all edges in each iteration. To achieve that, we are introducing a cat, S, which consists exactly one vertex. On the first iteration, the vertex is arbitrary, one. 
From the second iteration and moving forward, that vertex is the merged vertex. In each iteration, we contract the lightest edge that crosses the gate. Since self edges that will add up during the run never cross a cat, they start and end on the same vertex, they will not be repeatedly scanned, like in the naive algorithm we saw before. Also, to avoid scanning irrelevant edges from the current iteration, we are using a visited vertices list. On the first iteration, we are adding the random vertex to that list, notice all its neighbors, and add to a sorted binary heap, Fibonacci heap array, all edges leading to these neighbors, and maintain that data structure for any changes. On the next iteration onwards, we are adding the visited vertices list, the vertex which can be reached from the lightest edge, and repeating the process. Here is an example. So say this is our graph and we start from the arbitrary vertex A. So we add A to the visited list A, to the visited list vertices. Alrighty. And now we would make a cat. So S equals A. And as, as you can see, the edges AB and AC crosses that cat. Therefore, in the data structure, we are storing these edges. Now, we would notice that the contracted edge is going to be AB because it is lighter. Now, after we contracted the edge AB, we will create a new graph according to the contra contraction definition. So, this is our new graph. And once again, the cat has only one vertex, this one AB. And we're updating the, the data structure to include all neighbors. So this time we also have two uh, edges connected to AB, which are AB to C and AB to D. And the contracted edge is going to be ABC because it, it is lighter. So, the visited list is going to be ABC. Alrighty. Now we got the following graph. And this time we contract ABC to D, the edge that has a weight of 3. And we got this graph. So, as you can see, now we have self edges, but they are no longer relevant because we contracted all vertices to one vertex. Done. Now, in order to restore the minimum spanning tree, we will restore the graph from the contracted edges. And done. Kruskal's algorithm for MST. This straightforward algorithm is always look for the lightest edge in the contracted graph and add that edge to the minimum spanning tree. The implement of the algorithm is sorting all edges from the lightest to heaviest and scan them one by one. Whenever we reach an edge E equals UV, if the edge forms a circle with the set of edges already added to the MST, then that edge does not belong to the contracted graph and not to the MST. Otherwise, the edge E connects to vertices and therefore, there is no lighter edge in the contracted graph, so we can safely head it to the minimum spanning tree. The runtime of this algorithm depends on few parameters. In the union fine data structures, the cost of make set is 01 time, and the cost of find set and union operations is O alpha multiplied by V amortized time where alpha v is the inverse Ackermann function. The algorithm sorts the edges of e and then performs 2 multiply by e finds it operations and v minus 1 union operations for a total time of O sort e plus e multiplied by alpha v, where sort e is the time needed to sort the edges in e by the weight comparing the efficiency of Kruskal's algorithm to prime 
depend on the time required to solve E in cruise calls and the implementation of the priority queue in Prims. Well, that's the story. I hope you learned something new from this video and please comment below with your thoughts. First degree studies in university are all about social studies and this project comes to encourage that, even through complicated situations most of us are going through right now. Please subscribe to my channel and comment with your thoughts. I hope to see you soon. Good luck.